Hi everyone, welcome to my August journal flip through from Planner UK on Instagram. Let's dive straight in. As you might recall if you've watched my July flip through, I just had the last few pages of July and the start of August in this beautiful journal which is from Hobbycraft and cost three pounds. It's actually a sketchbook so it's got plain blank pages and I've really loved it. So I think this is where we left off. I was kind of noting down some of the August planner challenges that were going on. Unfortunately I didn't get a chance to join in with this one but there was one from Planning Mama which sounded quite interesting. This is my 1st of August spread. Then as some of you may have seen from my Instagram I've been joining in with the Journaling Through the Ages challenge by Kia Creates which has been really good fun and I'm up to this one here actually so I just need to catch up on the last three prompts but I've done I think all of the prompts up to here so it's been really good fun and I've been so inspired by all the wonderful people you know creating wonderful spreads and I think Kia is planning on keeping it going and not making it kind of time sensitive only for August. It's something that's going to be open for anyone to participate in at any time, as I understand it. So go to her channel. She also is inspiring journals on Instagram as well. And check it out. And check out the hashtag for all the fantastic artwork that people have created. It's really inspiring. So this was another one some really good prompts here on success and failure so I have done a few of these um, but I ha I'm going to save them up and do the ones that I've not got onto yet so that's also you know some really good prompts there around success and failure so well, that's one of the prompts there that I did 2nd of August, this was my birthday, so I used some of the wrapping paper and a tag. And it's only quite a short spread, as you can see. I think I was busy doing other things, such as drinking cider. <laughs> this is August the 3rd. I really like these paper boats that I found in a magazine. And these are some images that I think I got them from Unsplash and I really like them so I printed them out. Paper made me do it, I've mentioned in a few of my videos. Uh, this is one of the three, this is a free printable that she made available for people so I stuck it in there. 4th of August. This is when there was the kind of shock announcement re-events that they suddenly said exhibition and conference centres can host business meetings and events for up to 30. And so the rules kind of changed. Obviously I am an event manager and obviously watching the news on this very closely. And we're waiting for the 1st of October to find out whether business events, larger business events, can actually take place or not. It's subject to some trial events and things that we're doing. How cute is this little image with the little face masks on? I loved it. And these images are actually from Soap. How cool are they? This is from Fairly Organised Chaos, a free journal card that is available if you register on their site. And this is just ink testing pages and I think I was having trouble with a fountain pen or a combination of a fountain pen and some ink. So these are just my scribbles. And that's the end of that beautiful journal. Then I moved into 
this journal from Paper Chase. It's the Agenzio by Paper Chase. And I love the cover. It's like a soft feel, really tactile kind of cover. And I love the design. And I quite like the size of it because it's a little bit larger than most A5s. Uh, but I am disappointed that I can't use fountain pens in it at all. The paper is really bad. So yeah, if you look, I think this is a true way of five size, so it's a bit longer. But I think it's the same width. Yeah, it's just slightly longer though. So I quite like the size. I like the feel of the paper, um, but unfortunately it is horrendous in terms of pens like I can't use fountain pens even the finest fountain pens I can't use it bleeds through really badly which is a real shame so I won't be buying this one again unfortunately paper chase this is a gorgeous candle that I got for my birthday it smells lovely so every time I open my journal I can smell that which is gorgeous and I've not filled in all these at the start. I don't use an index in terms of a journal, in my journals. So I just thought I'd use these pages for things that I maybe might want to reference or things that don't fit elsewhere, really. So this is a profile for Leo's. That's my star sign. How to make strawberry jam. I just thought that would be quite cool at the front. So I started this journal on the 5th of August. These are the ones that I use every single month from Ferris Wheel Press. I just like the artwork, so I've just kept that going throughout my journals. And I think one thing with this journal, because I can't use fountain pens in it, I realised that I was not writing as much as I normally would. It maybe sounds silly, but... Part of the joy of writing for me is using fountain pens. So if I can't use fountain pens, then it kind of takes some of the joy away. So it was more just the coronavirus updates that I was doing rather than writing anything else. I really like this Pac-Man artwork here. And this made me <laughs> look twice. So there is some beautiful artwork out there, isn't there, to do with coronavirus. So I just thought it seemed appropriate to add it into my journal. I thought this was very true. Write it down on real paper with a real pencil and watch shit get real. Excuse my language, but yeah. So again, this is the updates, the changes in the UK or in England, I should say, to um, different guidance so face coverings sh should now be worn in more places and so forth. So this, one of the journaling through the ages prompts, I did like a medieval manuscript. So I had some artwork left over that I'd kind of printed to inspire me. So I decided that I wouldn't let it go to waste and that I would use it in this journal. This is when deaths, they were reviewing the way that deaths were recorded and changing the way that deaths were recorded. So there was a few days when the death toll was a little bit kooky and then it changed to the new recording method as well. Which, yeah, I'm just saying, I'm not really sure, but they've still got the method of recording deaths correct. Obviously, must have dyed my hair again. I keep changing the colour that I dye it using these home dye kits. So, made a note there. This was the Victorian scrapbooking theme. So, again, I had some items left over from my spread. So, I thought, waste not, want not. This was in support of the event industry and the live music industry and a lot of buildings across the UK were turned red in support of the industry and all these people that 
have just had the livelihood kind of taken away from them for the foreseeable future and obviously very worrying times for a lot of people. This is from the Whole Daily Mail which my mum brought over for me to read. It's like a beautiful hotel building. It's lovely isn't it? I think I was saying here that yeah the sheep are back in the field opposite so we've got a field opposite us and we love it when the sheep come and graze the the grass and we can look out the window and see them it's lovely so yeah just some interesting articles that kind of jumped out that I added in terms of the super league uh, so like rugby league is back at, but it's causing problems when certain players and certain teams obviously have cases of coronavirus and then they all have to isolate and I don't know how they're coping to keep the matches going really but interesting it's a new leisure centre that's opening the place where I grew up and it looks lovely So yeah, as you can see, on the whole, it's maybe a double page spread or maybe four pages of updates that I'm doing, but I'm not really writing lots. So very short updates. I think this is when I was away actually this week and staying with my sister so I was kind of just doing quick updates just before I went to sleep really so this is another kind of leftover from the 70s spread that I did these were leftover images so I just again added them here This is a standout magazine, which is a magazine for the event industry, and the letter really touched me, so I thought I wanted to include it here. Just really captured the kind of spirit of how a lot of event managers are feeling. Coronavirus costs event businesses 540000 on average, apparently. I was doing a bit of brainstorming before I did the 80s spread in the journaling through the ages. So these are some of the things that I remembered from the 80s, which is the decade that I was born in. Left over from the 90s spread. I do literally use, I'm like a magpie in terms of any packaging that I think is quite pretty, so, and how I can use it. And generally with packaging, you can peel off the back of the cardboard and just leave the, the paper kind of element on the top so it's not too thick in your journal. This, I was reporting on three people had been reinfected with coronavirus after a few months so obviously in terms of a vaccine I was just kind of mulling over the fact well we need to keep being re-vaccinated like really regularly not just once a year like with the flu jab but maybe even every few months or is it just not going to work at all not sure how am I feeling today I think I was becoming very aware that I wasn't writing as much so I was trying to write more even though I can't use fountain pens these were from an eBay bargain that I got I got some sparkly June trainers which I absolutely love with which have a star on them for three pounds on eBay and I couldn't believe it when she sent it it was such a bargain and then she put a little note and wrapped it in this lovely paper and I thought how gorgeous is that so I like to think that it was a planner lover out there that 
that I bought them from and got a bargain. Being at ease with not knowing is crucial for answers to come to you. And you'll never find rainbows if you're looking down. That's a quote from Charlie Chaplin. So this was talking about the Tour de France. The issue was that the Tour de France was starting in an area of France that is in lockdown. And although it's an outdoor event, then obviously there's issues and a bit of criticism in terms of hosting the event and allowing the event to go ahead. My mum gave me some magazines. So this was in one of the magazines and it was saying about ordering face masks and things. So I just thought it was quite interesting to include the costs and the different adverts that are creeping in. This was a present that my daughter got on the last day at her childminders. So I thought it was really stunning paper so I just used some of it in my journal. I love this bee. I think it's an original artwork that I found in a magazine. It's lovely isn't it? So this Bank Holiday weekend was the weekend that Reading and Leeds Festival should have taken place, Manchester Pride, Notting Hill Carnival, lots of big events that obviously couldn't happen. And this spread, I went over to Hull for a fantastic arm knitting workshop and made a blanket out of this lovely teal wool. And it was a fantastic day. It was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. It was good to have like an adult day uh, away from the kids and adult conversation and laughing and it was with my sister and it was lovely. It was in a teepee and the people that organised it, they just thought of a lot of nice details. Like they served us cake and these were the napkins and in the cake they had these little balls of wool. It was lovely. And I had a Starbucks and we had lunch at Costa and it was it was just lovely to have a grown up day. So I love Henry VIII and stories of all of his wives and things. So I wanted to use this here. Obviously it's getting really close to the school starting here in September and there's still news coming out about how to cope with outbreaks and cases of coronavirus within school and it all just seems really late that this information is coming out. But anyway recording it there. I was talking at the workshop to a lady whose daughter and family live out in Germany and apparently in Germany even six-year-olds have to you have to wear masks at school and they only take them off at their desks and apparently they have got used to it quite quickly but here in England the decision is that primary school children won't have to wear masks. So police have issued £10,000 fines to at least nine people because they organised illegal gatherings over the bank holiday weekend. And £100 fines can be issued to anyone attending those events and not wearing masks and so forth as well. Universities have been urged to maybe not have any face-to-face -face teaching until Christmas. Obviously, there's so many students, like in Manchester, there's 100,000 students which could be arriving into the city very soon. And so if they are all in lectures and so forth, it's going to potentially increase infections again. But at the same time, there's kind of a debate whether a second wave will actually happen because when the UK went into lockdown, there were 100,000 new infections per day as it was spreading undetected 
but now we only have around a thousand new infections per day and it's much more under control. This was interesting as well. Influencers have been paid to promote the test and trace scheme. It's speculated that it's between five and ten thousand pounds that they've got paid for one ad post to reach the target demographic that they need to or they feel that they need to get through to. And I thought that was quite interesting. I think that's an innovative way of reaching people more effectively and engaging with people, certain age groups, their followers and so forth. Obviously, these people have massive reaches. So, But yeah, I just thought it was quite interesting. I don't know if everyone else sees it the same way, but I think that media and marketing obviously is very different and it changes so quickly. And, you know, if that is effective for them, obviously I hope that they're measuring the effectiveness of it, then yeah, why not? It's kind of quite forward thinking, isn't it, of the government? So... Just a few pages of rambling. This is the 31st of August. I thought this sounded lovely. Jaffa cake gin. It, well, obviously it could be lovely or it could be awful, but I'm quite intrigued. I quite like to try it, I think. So 31st of August. I love this bright image. I thought it was perfect for my journal. So yeah, I'm trying to write more. This was just reflecting, it was 23 years, can you believe it, since Princess Diana died. So I was just kind of reflecting on where I was when I heard the news. My sister had actually had a riding accident, so we actually ended up in hospital with her. Bad timing when we were worrying about my sister, but anyway, thankfully she was okay. She didn't have a broken back, it was all fine, so... And then it's on to September. So I'm going to stop it there and I will do a flip through again next month. Thanks for watching. Happy journaling.